coffee, baby. Okay, first. First what I did was I ordered a 10 foot cable, a 10 foot USB cable off of eBay, so I could run it from the front of my bumper, under the hood, through the side of the door, into the car, connected to the cigarette lighter. So I can always have my GoPro charged at all times. And I'm gonna show you how to install it. First, let's open up that hood. Excuse my car, it's extremely dirty right now. All right, pop the hood open. go yeah extreme ignore the mess the dirtiness I gotta clean it it's winter time okay so I'm gonna be mounting this 10 foot cable through the about symbol okay through the bumper into the engine bay through the side and through the door into the cabin and I'm gonna show you how to do it okay First, in order to get some leverage, I'm gonna be taking out these screws, the four screws that are holding in the bumper, just so I can pull the bumper back just a little bit so I can get the wire inside and pull it through the emblem. Okay, so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna run the wire. Because I took the screws out, I can pull the bumper forward a little bit because now it gives me more leverage. I'm gonna put the wire now. Oh, this hurts. Through the emblem symbol. Thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that comes out like that. Oh, that's perfect. And I'm gonna run the rest of this wire under the hood. But first, before I continue. I need a two second coffee break. Eric, thank you for my Your Compulsion coffee. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna be using my GoPro Hero 4 Black on the outside of my car. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because when I go to Tail the Dragon, I wanna record my racing from all different angles. Now, my favorite angle is right here, front of the bumper, because you get to hear all the engine noises, all the turbo sounds, and you get a low point of view, and you see the ground, and it's, I personally think it's the best view. So, this is how I'm gonna mount it. Little spit, all right? Just like that, in the front. If I may offer a suggestion. Push down. Can I offer a suggestion? What? Pull it off for a second. Let me show you what to do. Well, first before you pull it on, push this down. Make sure it's fully down first before you put it on. Then you then you clamp it down. Because if it's only halfway, you're only getting half suction. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to mount the GoPro over here. Now, before you mount anything to the car, you want to clean the surface. Right now, I'm just showing you for demonstra demonstra demonstration purposes. I can't even say it. Dem <laughs> <laughs> for purposes. I can't even say the word. So before you mount anything, you always want to clean the surface. I'm just showing you this now, but obviously before I go racing, I'm going to definitely clean the surface. So I'll put this here, make sure it's all the way pressed down. Preferably you want a flat surface, which this is pretty flat. Push down, lock it. Now what happens is a lot of times the GoPros, they fall off because the suctions, honestly, they suck. So I, I made a lanyard, okay? And what I'm going to do is I have the lanyard here and I'm going to mount it so hood latch right over here. So just in case my GoPro fails over here, the lanyard is going to catch it and it's attached to the GoPro itself and the mounts. You got to be smart because these GoPros are not cheap today. They have what, $400, $500? All right. So the reason why I'm, I'm mounting this cable here is so I can have the GoPro charged at all times. Even though I have an extended battery on here, the batteries suck. 
you know? And the, the worst thing that you're gonna be doing is, you know, what you don't wanna do, is you don't wanna keep getting in and out of the car, coming to the front of the car, taking the GoPro out, changing the battery, because it's time consuming, and no one has time for that, all right? You just wanna get in, record, and go. That's good. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were recording. My bad, I was having a coffee break. One second. Back to the video. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna get the rest of this 10 foot cable, and because I took out the screws over here that hold the bumper in, I'm gonna put it underneath. I'm gonna run it through, okay, just like that. Because I wanna try to get it away from the engine as far as possible because of the heat. Okay. Let's see, how can I do this? Do it here. Pretty windy today. Yeah, sorry hope about the sorry about the wind, guys. Yeah, hope it's gonna do the audio. We got the wind sock on it. All right, so that's gonna go like that. Now, if we come over to this side, what I did, I already took the side piece off over here. Now it has three plastic clips. You want to be careful when you open when you take this out. In order to remove this, the best way to do it and the easiest way to do it, first open your door. So you have more access from the back over here. Alright? It's gonna be like this. You wanna pull, Eric, if you want to come to this side. If you want to come around. Yeah, come, come from this angle, look over here. What you want to do is, you want to put your fingers over here and you want to pull. Don't be afraid. Yank on it. You're not going to break it. These two clips over here, one and two, these are going to separate. Okay? You want to pull those and everything should just come right out. Okay, so I'm going to be running the wire this way. I'm going to pull the fender back just a little bit so it gives me a little bit of room. So I can push it through here. And then... That's tight fit. And this, just like that. First, before I do anything else, let me make sure I get all the slack. be able to push that in Get nice and snug okay okay now we're not going to put the side piece back on yet because I want to make sure everything fits okay. excuse the mess my car is filthy all right all right so I'm gonna run the wire through here. Before you do anything else, you want to make sure, uh, you know, that it reaches your cigarette lighter. Plug it in. Check. So it's definitely going to fit. It's definitely going to reach. What you want to do is you want to tie wrap it. We'll get it mounted under here somewhere. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah, all right, so we know it fits. Oh, so, why is coming through here? I'm gonna place it just like this through here. It's gonna catch through the plastic, push through. Keep pushing through. Make sure there's some slack over here, just a little bit, so it doesn't get kinked in between the door. Push it through here, and I'm gonna run it underneath the dash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie wrap it underneath so the wire doesn't hang. Yeah, my back. All right. All right, so obviously I'm just gonna find a place under here to tie wrap it. Okay, help me out. I can't get out. Oh my God. 
All right, so now we're gonna put the side molding back on. Let's see, this way. But we're gonna keep the door open. Make sure everything lines up, fits. Be very careful because of the plastic tabs, you don't want to break them. Those are always a pain in the ass. Let's see, should I go up first? No, you want to go down first. There's one, two, three. And that's it. Back on. Eat. Simple as that. Done. All right, now we're gonna make sure we have the, the wire running down this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some tie wraps, some black tie wraps, tie it over here so the wire doesn't move too much. I'm gonna tie wrap this, let's see. All right, so we got one section over here that I'm gonna tie wrap. Okay, here's one tie wrap. I'm just tie wrapping the um, the excess wire that's inside the engine bay just so it doesn't move around too much. That's all. I always gotta test your work. All right, ready? Yeah. Is it, is it plugged, it's plugged in. Does it work? Hold on, I'm drinking my coffee. One second. <laughs> Plug it in, one second. It works. All right. <laughs> we got power, baby. Well, let's test it out. Let's make sure it closes and everything. Mm -hmm. Check for clearance. Oh, we're good, baby. One, two, done. And that's it. That's the final product. Check it out. Come over here. So if you see right now, I have the 10 foot cable coming through the abut symbol into the GoPro so it's always charging. Very important. Just in case the GoPro itself fails, I have the lanyard. If it does fail, it'll catch and I don't lose my GoPro or break my GoPro. Guys, thank you very much for watching. It's your boy Mikey Turbos. Catch you on the next video. Peace out. You film my butt. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, my honest mistake, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to uh, put the four screws back in that hold the front bumper <laughs> on the very top. So let's go do that. Looper reel. <laughs> oh my God. Love you. <laughs> I love you too. Love you, ma. I love you Hi, too. Ma. Oogie, what are you doing in my car? What are you doing in my car? Huh? You want a cup of coffee? <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come, come. Oh, good boy. You left my hazards on, huh? You left the hazards on? Come on. Let's go to grandma. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye. Ah! Ow. Oh, oh. oh, peekaboo? I'm gonna do peekaboo. Peekaboo? Oh, that's not peekaboo. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, bud. <laughs>